Tonight, University of Michigan football coach Brady Hoke is under fire, and it's not just because his Wolverines aren't doing well this year. He's being criticized for his handling of injured quarterback Shane Morris. Look at this hit. Morris playing against Minnesota on Saturday while suffering an apparent concussion. Hoke says Morris, who's limping off the field after this hit here, shaking up. They had to hold him up because he was going to look at that. Uh, stumbled into a teammate after that hit because his ankle gave out. He said that Morris could have got out and out of the game at any time, kind of putting it on the player to manage his own health. Shane wanted to be the quarterback. And so, uh, believe me, if he didn't want to be, he would have uh, come to the sideline or stayed down. That's just stupid. Um, listen, the whole world, in fact, the announcers even said they couldn't believe that the player was coming back in and continuing to play. It can't be on the player to make his or own decision as to what to do. And it seems like that, I think they've got parents saying, do I really want my kid playing football? I mean, I, I think it's great for kids, but at a certain point you look at scenes, not just like that, but all the numbers that come out and you just say, you know what they call a starting player on any football team, any level, who says, Coach, I want out of the game? Oh, a right. former starter. Right. That's how you lose your job. I mean, no, I player, no but, player says, take but, me out. But, I think but the I'll coach is scapegoating the player yeah. because he doesn't have an answer. This represents everything that's wrong in college sports. Yep. you got a million-dollar coach, as they all are, and Four. then he gets a, well, of course, yeah. about three million. Yeah. And then he gets another million from Nike, but there's one catch. you got to win. Your great quarter, starting quarterback is the only real quarterback you got, so you can't turn to number two, and as long as you can see, you're going to get back out there on that field. All the stuff we heard about the allegations in the NFL the last couple of weeks, and why isn't the NFL taking action? Why is, University of Michigan should fire this coach. You fire him today, gonna, or at least, but or at least, or at least suspend him. But they're not going to fire him. But they're going to fire him because he's not winning enough games. In the Big that, Ten, right? That that would be why. Just one last point. Um, when we close the book on Derek Jeter, and uh, and will be happy about this. Will be brief, but he obviously finished in style on Thursday night in the Bronx. But then he went up to Fenway. And he said, "You know what? Anywhere else, I wouldn't have played at all." But he played the last two games of the DH here because he said he felt it, he needed it, he felt that it, for the rivalry, he needed to at least show his face there. And I think and everybody in respect said it was a class move. Well, this was a one funny tweet I had to mention here. And the Red Sox starting pitcher this weekend, Joe Kelly, um, even his wife got in on this one. Ashley Kelly, she went through Twitter saying, when I was 12, I thought I'd marry Derek Jeter. She's from the New York metropolitan area. Instead... I married the guy who took a selfie of him during his own ceremony. And it's just, it's funny. This is taken off in so many ways here, but all the other players even falling over themselves uh, to get one final thing. Did you, you want to marry Derek Jeter? Twitter Twitter humor. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funnier than our lieutenant oh, governor, I have right. to say. I, I was about I to say, be careful, See, I, I, I'm sorry. No, okay. because who gonna... doesn't love Derek Jeter? And she was sweet. That, I thought that was sweet. Yes. Bob Duffy's Professor, just not funny. Professor, what? if my <laughs> wife said that she wanted to take a picture with the other guy instead of he me. He took a picture with no, the guy. Oh, okay, right. Way to focus. You and your massages. I'm one of the massages. I'm one of the massages. Orioles and Tigers start October 2nd. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, U.S. got caught oh. once again. If oh. you're a golf fan here, it's getting to be the same old story here. U.S. losing big time in the Ryder Cup. But what was fascinating was in the post-match thing, which are usually dull as dishwater, you had the captain, which is the immortal Tom Watson, and Phil Mickelson. Let's just say you have a little bit, in, a little bit of a difference of opinion. Unfortunately, uh, we have uh, strayed from a winning formula in 08 for the last three Ryder Cups, and, and we, uh, we need to consider maybe getting back to that formula that, that helped us play our best. Nobody here was in, in any decision. I had a different Since philosophy the, as far as uh, being a captain of this team. Uh, you know, it takes 12 players to win. It's not pods, it's 12 players. They're telling me to wrap, but trust me, I know you're like, how exciting? It actually was like as much as a screen match without the screen as you could have found here. We're going to have headlines when we come back. Stay with us.